And we are live. Welcome, everybody, to another Friday night uh, watch talk. I almost said watch soup. Uh, Friday night watch talk with the guys uh, this evening. Thank you so, uh, so much. Uh, we have a little bit of weather coming in uh, by me. So if, uh, if I drop out, um, I may drop out. But, uh, you know, you'll be in good hands with, with um, and Colin and Chaz. And speaking of Chaz, uh, you guys, if you never met Chaz before, you know, Chaz is... Uh, you know, um, in in our Discord group, in Amin's uh, uh, Discord group, uh, and in Random Rob's, I see him, and uh, he's a, just a great friend. We've become really friendly over the last few months. Um, great watch enthusiast, uh, Chaz from the Berg. How are you, Chaz? Thank you for joining us tonight, man. Great to be here. Uh, as I've said, you've hit rock bottom, <laughs> um, but glad to be here representing. Yeah, you you may have the best voice uh, that's ever graced yeah. uh, this uh, this uh, watch uh, chat. Uh, so no, thank you. Uh, thank Easily. You for, um, what do you got on wrist, Chaz? What do you have on wrist today? Um, let's see. I've got uh, the Zen nine hundred three. Oh, uh, very nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, very cool. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. yeah. There, there we, we go. Yeah. Beautiful. That's the watch you sent me uh, that That's sparked. Started you down that hole? <laughs> sent me down the 903 hole. Well, you, you uh, actually had been uh, uh, fishing for this for yeah. for years. Yeah. So I think I just kind of pushed you over the edge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. Uh, you and Mrs. Legs. Uh, you know, she had always liked that watch. Uh, it was the first Zen that really I was attracted to um, when I first came around to Zen. And, um, and then when when she sent when it was it was actually it was actually pretty good and, and good thing she's on a, on a call right now she she can't hear us but uh, uh she had plans because I told her you had sent you're gonna send it in and she was like, very excited she was going like this she was like that uh, and she had plans to like you know just like take it from me you know like I'm gonna get it and then she's gonna take it but she loved the look it was just a little too big and a little too thick for her you know and so but she was like you know you, you got to get this watch and so. Um, it kind of just happened uh, that somebody contacted me uh, the day after, and uh, and and we went down, and we and went went down that rabbit hole and bought the watch. But um, she doesn't wear it. You know, it's all me. You know, it's it's, it's awesome. <laughs> it worked out. Perfectly. Yeah, it, 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 it couldn't work out. Like it couldn't work out even better. It, it, there's yeah. no way. Like I couldn't think of another scenario how that could have worked out better. <laughs> but thank you, Chaz. Uh, yes, Colin, uh, hey, how man. are you, man? What's going Great. on? Yeah, it's been a long week, but uh, happy yeah. weekend. Yeah, I got uh, the NASA G Shock. On very, today. very nice. There was nice. A, new, a new G Shock that came out today, right? Mm -hmm. Did you guys see yeah, that? Yeah, there we'll, was we'll like a up. rainbow. Or yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about yeah. it. Yeah, we could talk about it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, Amen, how are you, man? Good. Happy Friday, guys. Yeah. Happy Friday. Yeah. Happy good, Friday. good long week wearing my Parmigiani. Yeah. Uh, today. And, um, Glad to be glad to be with you. Glad Chaz could make it tonight. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, Thanks you had a invite. you had a great picture on on Instagram today with that with that strap oh. and uh, and the watch. And Thanks, uh, I know bro. I know I know uh, your wife and and daughter are not crazy about the strap, but uh, I think it looks great. Thank you. Great on Thank you. <laughs> it does look good. Yeah. Yeah. Every time they see it, they're like, "Ew, ew, ostrich leg." <laughs> <laughs> and just because it's ostrich my, leg or my the color thinks it's pretty gross that it's uh, it's made from the leg of an ostrich yeah i mean uh, look when you think about it i mean yeah. i mean it's kind of gross but i mean but it looks great my wife no, got, my wife got the chicken leg one my wife's used to it yeah yeah <laughs> next time I, i've been looking on um what's the guy's name he uh uh that everybody combat straps yeah, yeah. Um, Aaron, Aaron. The, the python looks pretty sweet the python the, does the look sweet python looks sweet yeah. that, that might be my next uh exotic <laughs> yeah <laughs> so wait so so i assume you have alligator right yep yeah mm. so you have ostrich yep um calf. Got a couple different types of alligator got yeah. calf yeah uh don't have any lizard uh, I have a, I have a lizard. Do you? Yeah, I have a lizard. I have a ostrich. I have a. There's a beaver tail, I think. Beaver <laughs> there. tail. Yep, yeah. I saw that. I got e. a stingray. I got stingray. Do you? Yep. Oh. Stingray is really hard. It's like yeah. uh, it's it's rigid. Yeah. It's rigid. Yeah. 
It, this is this. Is, <laughs> this My can't brother-in-law be legal. gave me a Stingray uh, <laughs> wallet to wear, and yeah. when you put that, you have in your to have back, a special permit. Yeah. For, uh, <laughs> When you put a stingray wallet in your back pocket and sit down, that's like the most uncomfortable thing on the earth. <laughs> it's like it's like sitting on a rock in your pocket. I don't know if you're trolling me or uh, or what. It's like RF blocking. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh Terrible. man, I'm already crying, and we're five minutes in. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but it's right. waterproof. It's a good water. It's a good summer watch. Uh, yeah. skin stingray. It's also a good like you know. Dying watch, right? I mean, like you know, the aren't stingrays like poisonous? Like, you know, oh, oh. Uh, the, the skin sure yeah. isn't. Don't worry about that. Yeah, okay. no okay. worry. Somebody okay. else's job. Yeah, no somebody worry. else's problem. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, I, I got. Uh, I'm wearing a watch that was sent in by a Ooh, subscriber. Nice. Uh, the uh, Sumo Oh SBP one seventy five or something like that. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I forget the number, <laughs> um, but it's awesome. It's awesome, and just like the nine hundred three, uh, I ended up buying a Sumo. <laughs> Um, but I've, I've been talking about the Sumo for a long time. This just kind of, well, so there's a nine hundred three too. Oh man, I just yeah, you know what I can't. I it can't kind of mention- saves you a little money when people send watches in for you to review, but it totally doesn't because you, you buy them afterwards. Right, right. So, like, I just can't mention the watches that I'm interested in because then yeah. people will send them to me and then they, then that then I'll spend my money. <laughs> um, awesome watch. I just love – I'll talk about it in a review, but I just – there's something about the Sumo that I just – it fits really, really well on my wrist. And, and aesthetically, yeah. when I look at it, it's just it's just great. So – Okay. Honestly, I, I went to that website after you talked about it. No, man. I had like seven or eight tabs open of things that I was interested in. And then what I just closed it? it all down and I walked away. Was it um, Seiko's or, or was it other, yeah, other Seiko's. brands? Yeah, Seiko's. All Seiko's, yeah. They, they have a good selection. Um, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, I think – so they have a lot of JDMs, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and there's other sites that you can, so when I, when I shop at Nomo, Nomon for JDM Seikos, or when I have, I have shopping online in Japan open. I have a couple other of those, um, uh, websites from Japan open as well. And I, I'll do a price compare and I'll do a price compare. And, um, sometimes Nomon's better. Sometimes it's not. So, um, I always, I always check. Uh, especially with the JDMs. Um, what is this shopping online in Japan? What? Something, something like that. Like if you a, Google, if you Google shopping in Japan, just, yeah. just, uh, just shopping in Japan, it comes up. But, the, but there's a couple of them um, yeah. that I've checked. Um, so you may want to look. I mean, it's not the most user friendly websites, but uh, you can mm. still definitely find what you want. And uh, and sometimes you can find some great deals. I've bought a couple. Uh, watches from from them uh, in the past because it was just better than anything i saw here in the states or on amazon and and then i bought watches from nomon too um because it's better than anything i've seen in the states or on amazon so mm. if um, you want to go down a deep rabbit hole uh rabbit hole uh colin uh dib uh today told me about a russian site called freezer house <laughs> f-r-e-z-e-r house freezer house and uh dot com sounds legit and, yeah. and uh they he, he says he thinks it's legit and uh <laughs> he thinks it's legit it's kind of like delray on steroids like in terms of the watches they choose to curate there for sale yeah. it's like backed uh, by putin <laughs> it it is uh and the prices are not are good but not too good to be true and the the selection <laughs> is like if you go to their instagram they got a zillion de bethunes and but, but are they from Russia? I mean, because I thought that you can't. I thought they're sanctions they're in Russia. But Dib said that he thought that they, they got away. To, they, they got, got away. away to get it out. They oh. got away. Okay. Mm. I don't Chaz, know. is there is there anywhere you look for when you're looking for like you know Seiko or anything else? Is there any? Yeah, what I've are done, your favorite uh, sites? I can't remember the. Uh, there is a uh, one of the shops in Japan. Of, Mm-hmm. I've, that's I've ordered Saya, that. Saya, yeah, is that one? I, I don't know if that's the one. I I know I've been to that site, and um, th- there's another one there. Maybe shopping in Japan, maybe mm-hmm. that site. Mm-hmm. Um, but I Oceanus, they carry that line, mm-hmm. which Sakura are Sakura too. Sakura, yeah, yeah, that's another one. I've bought uh, from Saya. I've bought from shopping in Japan. Good experiences, yeah. both sites, mm-hmm. right? 
right good good uh shipping speed is really quick. yeah yeah absolutely um, and there there's some models you can't you know you just unless you go to ebay mm -hmm. uh you just can't find those jdm models so mm -hmm. and that nomen is a good site yeah um, and good service from them as well we got, I, we got some in the chat that are saying yeah let me um speaking of let me let me just miss the up. chat they, these guys uh that's where that's where the fun is, man. No, no, I know. Let me let me get on there. Saying this isn't fun. And, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> and, yeah. and we'll revisit this because I, I I think this is valuable information. Hey, Peter, how you doing? I, I you know, of course, I lost everybody from pre nine o'clock, but I saw a bunch of people there. So I, I'm sorry if I can't give credit who got there first. Um, Mr. Oh, Cassio, true. how you doing? Hey, Sean, thanks for joining us. Oh. Here's Bruce, Justin. Peter again, Desk Diver. How you doing, sir? Uh, Junior Johnson. Hey, Megan. How you doing? Thanks for joining us. Caliber, what is up? Um, MJ. I shouldn't be opening these websites. <laughs> 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 uh, it is trouble. When Mike, there's like 12 doing? pages of Seikos, it's like, oh, no. I yeah. just saw Colin's eyes get so big just now. Yeah. He looked like a kid for a second. <gasps> Uh, hey, ID guy, what's going on? Slicey's here. What's up, man? Um, watches with Mercury's here. Uh, hey, Craig. It's a 93. Great looking watch. Thank you. Um, let me uh, find eh, oil money. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh Nothing like a good ostrich. Okay. Let's just keep it clean, guys. Uh... <laughs> uh, just get that man some boots. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Stingray wallet. I wonder what the poor is carrying their money in. <laughs> oh, Bill K is here. Uh, importing some of the exotic straps can create issues with customs clearance. That is true. I've heard some nightmares. I've never had any experiences, but can't believe you that. guys can't believe you guys carry your own money. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> what, one quick tip: if you're selling a watch overseas with an exotic, ship the watch and this the strap separately. Totally separate. Pro tip. Yeah. Two, Pro diff tip. two different boxes. Mm. Rob, I'm gonna send you the S. Oh, don't you dare! Oh man, it's I too small never for you. Don't worry. <laughs> so I see. I also very much want to check out a sumo. So buy one, Bobby, and then I can check it out on my watch. Absolutely. Once I get my uh, Blumo in second generation next week, let me honeymoon it for a little while, and then I'll send it up to you, Slice. No problem. Out. Um, I get uh, Slice. gets his uh, signals from Mimo. Yeah, I mean Mimo. Mm. Mimo. If you get a, a discount code, you know, um, there's ways to get one. Mimo's jewelry. It's in Great California. Guy. Great service. Yeah. Jeez. I've I've gotten uh I bought uh the Khaki Field Hamilton from there and um I used a um a code and um and got it was it was a good price. Very good they price. G shocks too. They do. Which, which one are you on now? Memo. Memos. Oh, yeah. This diver saying Saya? Is that is that how you say it? Saya, I think it that's is. That's Saya, sure Saya. Yeah. I don't know how to say it. Higuchi. Higuchi and Sakura. Oh boy. Oh, oh man. man, I'm gonna have to go on tonight. Oh crap. Got my Saya. Saya <laughs> Japan. Nice. Hey. I got a lot of tabs open here. Uh, Slicey's uh, suggests it's often cheapest to get Seikos from Japan for brand new models, <laughs> and then you can be snooty and say you have a J model. Uh, we love being snooty. We certainly do. Uh, all in her movements <laughs> here. Hey, Penny, how are you? Uh, Bobby, Bobby saying yes. Bobby Meltzer. Congrats, uh, Penny, on the new watch. Oh, congrats. yeah. Yeah. Penny, and congrats, uh, Kelly, on too, on the two. Oh, Both yeah. Is, is Kelly here? Just, Kelly picked up the Batgirl I just saw yeah. on Instagram. Is she, she in the of, chat? Or? No, I thought, isn't, isn't she like in Spain or something like that? I see like her Instagram. She, no, like in, she like got back and went straight to the AD and got a back girl. Well, at, at least that's I'm, what it looks like. You know, that's see, that's the life, man. You go yeah. vacation in Spain for a couple weeks and you come back from the airport. This is, yeah. I'm, I'm sure have the, does, have the limo drop me have off. Have the limo indeed. drop you right off to the. Just yeah. living the dream. Just living the dream. Right. Yeah. 
And then and then she's gonna go back home, have a drink, and look at her <laughs> and a little sniff or whatever, whatever uh, fancy people do. Nah, we love you, Kelly. We love you, Kelly, and uh, and um and uh, good luck. Congrats on the on the new watch. Mm-hmm. So so where were we? So so I saw some some sites, uh Japanese um JDMs. Okay. They have JDM uh, G Shocks too, Colin. Oh uh, boy. Models yeah. you can't get here. Really mm-hmm. nice. <laughs> it's a deep rabbit hole. That's why I have about 20 G Shocks right now. But yeah. he's counting. I'm down to like <laughs> I'm down to like four, I think, right now. I'm I'm down to two. Uh, I, well wow. I'm, my <laughs> wife has one, but I have two others. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, the, I'm I'm like cyclical with the G Shock, so I'll probably ramp it up at some point when I'm when I'm Jones in the buy a watch, but I'm not supposed to be spending any money. I'll I'll buy a G Shock or I'll buy a Square. That's I think that's the pattern that I follow. Yes. Yeah. Um. Although, man, I I you know I, I'm really you know so I got the second I got a second generation Sumo coming in. Um. I'm I'm looking forward to that. Uh, this one has uh, the the upgraded movement though. This is a third gen uh, sapphire crystal, and um, you know I hope I think I did, I made the right move by getting the the second gen sumo because I just like the printing on the on the on the bezel better. Um, but I could see myself getting getting one of these too. It's deadly, man. It's my it's uh, it's my favorite Seiko diver by far. Um, and and it, and wearing one just uh, you know justifies it you know the wearing one the last couple of days, it's just I don't know there's something about it. Um, it's it's a lot of watch for the money. It really yeah. is. Yeah, I I think so. I think so. Right. I mean, for sure. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Slicey's down to two G shocks now. Also a fifty six hundred E as Bobby and uh, full metal. GW five thousand. You have uh, you still have your full metal Rikon. The you have the Bling Master still, or did you? I have the Bling Master and I have the uh, black one. Yeah, yeah. So I still actually I have five G Shocks. I miscounted. So down to five. Uh, I haven't Most... gotten the flighty yet. I'm still. I had a chance to get one this week. I passed because I wanted uh, the sumo. Um. But I might get the flighty one day. I like it. Uh, Justin ADC Willard is his favorite Seiko yeah, diver. They're pretty nice. I kind of want a tuna, like a, a old yeah. school tuna, like one of the big boy tunas, not the not yeah. the mini ones. You do you know Spencer? Master. Cl- yeah, yeah. Do you know Spencer Klein? Have you ever seen his channel? Yeah, I've heard of him, but. He's he's he he's got some interesting. He does some interesting stuff, right? I mean, he's he's got he'll he'll sell some vintage stuff and and he'll throw up videos uh, on watches that he's working on yeah. uh, or rebuilding. I actually sent my friend there, my friend um, that I've known from college. His dad used to work for Seiko mm. here in the states and at, at a service center, and his dad um, was some sort of engineer or something. I mean, he he co patented. Uh, a couple of um, uh, equipment and, and uh, pieces of equipment and tools used to fix Seiko watches, right? So mm. um, he had some watches and he had, check this out, you know that that kinetic uh, uh, watch that came out in the 90s that had like the four dials on, small little dials on it? Mm. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think so. Um, and, and um I'll see if I can, in the meantime, pull the picture up. So he um, he had uh, two of them, and and my friend's father since passed, but um, my buddy's trying to uh, sell one, and um, and so like it's kind of like there wasn't many of those made, so he doesn't really know what to do. So I told him to reach out to to Spencer um, Klein, maybe maybe to help him. Um, let me see. I'll share you the screen. Yeah, there's some good forums also for asking those kinds of questions. Um, yeah. I mean, Spencer, when I've when I've emailed him, has has gotten back to me uh, before. Okay. Okay. Uh, with with good information, um, at least as of a year or two ago, his work 
catalog, you know, his backlog on doing work was super long to the point where, you know, people are saying, Hey, you know, can I get my watch back or, you know, or he wasn't taking on work at all. Um, so, so uh, Kevin, it's funny you say Jay Leno wears his, that watch because my friend's father sold him that watch. He had like a, a third what? one and he sold, sold it to Jay Leno. Yeah. Really? Wow. Like 20 something years ago, whenever it was. Mm-hmm. So there's a cool. forum called wrist sushi for uh, a lot of people are really okay. into old, uh, old Japanese watches. Good. I got a lot of good information there. Okay, I'll definitely let him know about that one too. Uh, Craig just bought the SBB and uh, N zero three one tuna. Really liking it. Uh, it's a very cool watch. Yep, Jay Leno used to wear that, um, and he probably wears an Apple Watch now. Right, sure. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, so what do you guys say? Um, you want to take a look at some new releases? Sure. Let's There's some in- interesting ones that came up. Uh, let me just pull up the screen. Okay. Um, well, this this Deep Bethune, I don't know if this was a new release, was it? Um, have you guys ever seen this one before? I've never seen that one. Uh, looks like it might be titanium. Yeah. The Titan Hawk Zirconium. Ooh. And Zirconium. Sweet. That's very interesting. I love almost everything they do. Yeah, it looks like it's not new, but uh I no. haven't seen it. I've, I've never seen it too. So yeah. it looks like it has a, a this is a date around here. Mm. So a but yeah. uh trying to figure out how that I guess this may be the pointer to the date. Right here, I guess. Looks like uh, it. Maybe, yeah. It just happens to be lined up with the hour. Or wait. Oh, no, wait. Okay, I see. It's Wait. That. Okay, I see. That, never mind. I thought that the other, the backside of the date pointer was something else. Gotcha. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that must be the date pointer. Oh, so cool. I I usually <clears throat> am um, interested in what D. Bethune has to put out. This one doesn't really uh, do anything for me, but um, yeah. I mean, but to each his own. If right? I, I was mean, like, buying a D. Bethune, I, I probably wouldn't buy that one. I would yeah, get something else most likely. Mm. Yeah, uh, looks interesting. I'm trying to just scroll down and find a price. Uh, on it, mm, um, it's got to be you... forty or fifty. Yeah, it's yeah. on forty k somewhere. I don't know if yeah. that was the actual price. I think he said when I picked this one up, it was for four, the going rate was forty k. The watch retail oh. knew about forty k. Uh, okay, uh, <clears throat> all right. So, so it's not a new release. Uh, my bad. Um, okay. Uh, so Jacob and Company. Uh, <laughs> what? The... The... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty uh, pretty goofy here. Uh, Astronomica Alec Monopoly is a true mechanical driver's answer. So is this uh, based on the game? Down. Monopoly or? That's awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love TV cartoons. <laughs> Trying to think of something nice to say, but it's 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 not coming to me. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Scrooge McDuck looks like, I, I don't know who that guy is. Uh, I see the I Monopoly see, guy. I see Scrooge McDuck. I see, yeah, I don't know who that is either. It's a rich dude. I'm sure Donald Duck, comma, Scrooge McDuck. Um, really, no takers on this? Um, yeah. I mean, listen, the thing's <laughs> For probably. thousand? <laughs> the thing's probably going to be super collectible if it's like a one of one or something. And it's so zany that. Even though it's a Jacob and Co, like I could see something like that just thirty years from now, people going crazy for it. But who knows? OMG! <clears throat> I thought ID guy'd be all over this one. <laughs> Got perfect design. 
<laughs> hey Thomas, how you doing? Uh, A Z Clayton, uh, Scrooge McDuck, appropriate to describe the <laughs> okay <laughs> the dictionary and this ugly thing. Paging producer Michael. Okay, hard <laughs> hot take by A Z Clayton. Um, this is not Ducktales. Um, or dark wing duck. Okay, it's a, it's a knockoff. They couldn't. They didn't buy the rights to the actual <laughs> like. <Yeah. laughs> Understated simplicity. Very true, Kevin. Always, always with the right take. Understated. Uh, uh, that's not a watch. It's a crime. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The pink dollar thing. I think it looked like an ice cream cone. Uh, in the bottom there, so I don't know if it's like a. It is, I think. Yeah, it's like melting. Put a quarter machine to go grab this one. <laughs> okay, uh, let's uh, let's. It let's looks come back. cheap. Like I, I'm sure yeah. it's different in person, but it it has the appearance of being made cheaply. Yeah. yeah. In the pictures. I feel like Jacob must just get fuel from all the hate. Like he knows that these are, like, going to be just dragged. He must just get fuel off of that. But maybe he's just like he doesn't like he doesn't live in an, in, in reality. Well, definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, yeah. and so maybe he like either doesn't realize that uh, people uh, hate. I right? just don't think he cares. Or, or maybe he just doesn't care and just sees us as we don't see it. He sees it, and mm -hmm. we we just don't get it. You know? Yeah, maybe. And, um, and you know, good for him, man. You know, good for him. We're I mean, the ones that are dumb. I mean, yeah. the astronomia doesn't look cheap. You could say it looks gaudy, but it doesn't look cheap. This one looks cheap because the mm. little figurines look plastic. Yeah, they yeah. do, yeah. But they're probably supposed to, right? Because they're maybe so. It's art. Who am cartoons, I? Who am right? I maybe so. So, how you about just this don't one? Get it. Yeah, I mean, you just don't get From it. You don't get it. From the ridiculous to the sublime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, looks like confetti blew this up. You had an interesting comment today, uh, Con. You, you, uh, when yeah. Marcus brought this up, you're like, yeah, yeah. "It looks good, but it probably won't age well." Yeah, I, I uh, do like it today. I don't think that dial is going to age well. Basically. Yeah, that's the part that's. I don't know. I just, I'm wondering if this is. If you had a live photo that would look different than this rendering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I, I think it looks really cool. I see what you're saying, Colin. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think, I, I think you're on the money though, Chaz. I think like, you know, maybe in person, um, maybe it won't feel that way. I don't know. I, don't I, like I, I, I really dig it. Um, Tokyo. Is there a texture to the dial at... I don't think I mean, there is. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's uh, try to zoom in a little bit. All right, I'm buying an FP Jorn from Russia for 10,000 rupees. <laughs> <laughs> for 10, 10 million rupees. Is that a good deal? It know. sounds like a good deal. I mean, that's probably like 20 bucks Canadian. So, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> um, it, it, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. It's, it says blue. It says polished blue ceramic dials, laser engraved with a pattern inspired oh, okay. by the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Game mm -hmm. emblem. Now, do do these do these um are these collect? I mean, are these Olympic ones. I mean, are, do they do well? Like later on, do they are they collectible? Are they like investments? Eh, I, I think they do okay, but it's not like they go crazy from what I can tell. Yeah. Like you can pick up older Omega Olympic uh, uh, things for under retail. Omega does a lot of this laser engraved. Yeah, it's like that la stuff. laser ablation, like they did on the dark side of the moon. I imagine it's similar. Does laser engraving? Do you think that there's any human guidance involved in that, or is that pure computer? Pure computer. Yeah, that's, that's, that's computer oh. for sure. Yeah. Do you guys care about that, or, or you know, like would it would it push you one way? And if there was a if there was a dude pushing the laser, and versus <laughs> uh, versus just letting it happen, does it matter? I, I think, think it, a dude pushing a laser would look horrible. Yeah, it'd, horrible. it'd be like 
Jacob making the laser cat cat laser show watch or something and it's just like scribbles or something <laughs> like to me it would be more like art if you had a human doing it because yeah. it'd be so hard to control got it what do you, what do you think Chaz? i everything but the dial i think they were and I, i'm reserving judgment until i see a better photo it it's one of those watches that may <laughs> may with a in the steel look a lot different or in the yeah. gold yeah it just uh i love the overall aesthetic except for the dial it just and i it may be better in person but yeah that can't can't go it with the with the dial i think i'm with mm -hmm. you i i like the overall aesthetic i like i like it that it uh i like the gold uh the dial yeah i mean it's a little it's a little out there it's a you know special edition whatever tokyo olympics i guess they may there's a little liberty to to do something a little risque um but uh you know uh i i too will reserve it uh i don't know there's something there's something about it that i can't put my finger on that i, that I really like about it yeah and uh it may be the whole the whole picture it may be the whole the whole package that does it for me um, I, I agree with Chaz. I mean, in in regular life, the dial might just look like a almost black navy blue. Yeah. You, you, this the pattern may be very subtle uh, in person. Uh, they showed both rubber and leather as an option there. Uh, Scuba Simon. That looks like a chessboard. Yeah. And I see a lot of uh, old Olympic models. Uh, on the secondary market and they don't seem to have any kind of inflated value if yeah because of being associated with the olympics in fact some of them <laughs> seem to be bargains so yeah i think i'm not right. sure the olympic connection makes a great deal of difference i i wonder i wonder how that's going to play out this time around so the olympics have been delayed a year yeah. uh you can no longer i mean they're not allowing spectators now um, it's just a weird, weird, um, set of circumstances that maybe years down the road, we're going to look back on it and be like, wow, okay. We lived through this crazy time. Does that, you know, I may be reaching here, but does that like affect how we perceive some of like this limited edition, mm -hmm. you know, some of these limited editions, you know, is I it possible? So no? I, I mean, I believe that you can still pick up the Omega Olympic editions and some at a discount. And even though it's mm -hmm. the Olympics 2020, they didn't change the name of the Olympics, even yeah. though it's in 21. So it's still the 2020 Olympics. So it still has the, it's still happening like that. So yeah. I kind of doubt it. Okay. No one wants Maybe to remember it was the this 1980, time. Uh, you know, Olympics when the United States beat the USSR. Yeah. You know, that that might have been hockey. That's something uh, from that special event. May that may be a great collectible. But right, 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 right. But I can't not, imagine COVID, COVID uh, Olympics is not gonna COVID yeah, Olympics. I'm not sure, yeah. I'm not sure we're gonna like, come back <laughs> and say, remember, Hey, yeah. Remember that yeah, horrible can, time? Yeah, and look back fondly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Fair Russia, has a, Russia has a Zeit work for fifty three thousand dollars. That's <laughs> pretty cheap, actually. So, are you on uh, the freezer site? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've ruined him, Mammon. Yeah, I'm not buying any of these. This is crazy. No, but it's a good place to just just to, <laughs> just to poke around. I guess, yeah. So um, the Resonance, uh, Resonance Type One Slim Red, uh, Colin, you're you're a fan of Resonance, right? Mm -hmm. um, what did uh, what do you think about this one? It's very red for sure. A lot of red in that picture. A lot of red in this picture. That, that is a red watch. <laughs> yes, I agree. Uh, I personally like their black or their gray mm -hmm. dials better with you know the pops of color. Um, that's yeah, that's red yeah <laughs> super red <laughs> yeah so you can say i mean it's still a cool watch but it's yeah just a lot of red i love that the model even had a red sweater on 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, in case you missed it, yeah. this is red. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. almost have to be like Louis C.K. with a red sweater uh, to pull this off. Oh, I could have worn it today. Or just buy it for Christmas. Just wear it on Christmas. Yeah, or just wear it on, on Christmas. It would be a great Christmas Valentine's. watch. Or, great. you know, look, it could be a good stabbing watch, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever going to stab, this <laughs> is the watch. <laughs> you know? You know, we have we wear watches to many important events in our life. Um, I mean, it, it, I've said it before on these streams. Like, that's the kind of watch where, like, if you have a gigantic collection, yeah, yeah, you know, and yeah. you're just like, yeah, that's cool. I'd wear that once a month. You know, uh, Valentine's Day, right there. Yeah, good point. Um, oh, that's good. Good, yeah. Yeah, so two days a year you can wear that. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Get a nice green strap. Green put a blue like put a blue put a blue strap on July fourth. Right. There you right. Go. Sure. Three yeah. days a year. Three days. Wow. Yeah. Uh Craig likes the red dial. Uh actually that would look pretty sweet with like a black or a blue strap. Yeah, official uh watch of the Communist <laughs> Party. Sure. Yeah. Um Resident's Red will be uh and for the would be Andy Warhols, yeah. Uh, Daniel, yes, yeah, stabbing. Okay, Daniel, two, two, <laughs> two, two into that comment that I made. Uh, yeah. Uh, even even Slacy Dicey didn't go there. <laughs> yeah, you didn't try Slacy Dicey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kevin Leary would love it in this collection. Absolutely. Mm, that's true, uh, dude. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> Green Chef for Christmas, agreed. Um uh, black strap better. Yeah. Almost would. any strap would be better. <laughs> or a silver a white strap would look pretty sweet too. Uh Kevin really wants us to look at the Citizen Pro Master Godzilla. Okay. In red. Yeah, saw those, Kevin. I'll pull that up, Rob, if you want to keep going. Oh, uh, sure. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Let me sure. let me just keep going here uh, with the chat. Uh, Godzilla always scores well with watches. You ever notice that? Yeah, you know, for for your your huge, um, you know, monster. Yeah, you I know, mean, city you never destroyer. Seen King Kong or... No, no, no King Kongs. No Mothra. Yeah, Mothra. I've never seen a Mothra watch. Yeah, I think it could be huge. Mothra. I don't even know yeah. what Mothra is. It is one of the guys that Godzilla fought. <laughs> it's like uh, a moth, a huge moth. Uh, I, you know, that looks cool. It's a cool looking watch. That looks cool. I, I you know, Citizen, uh, uh, the Pro Master. I, I, it's, it's one of those watches where I just give me the slightest excuse to buy one. And this is uh, uh, get one. It's got an automatic mechanical movement. It's not the Echo Drive. So it's not the Echo. Yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. And it's like looks like it's about six hundred bucks. So it's it's sort of like the uh, mm. it's got the superhero thing going on, uh, kind of kind of like the Marvel ones, but yeah, reasonable price. I think and I still uh, would go Eco Drive though, just because that's their bread and butter. I feel. Mm. <laughs> What's this? Oh, probably a Miata. Citizen owns Miata, right? Do they? Or is that? Sure. Uh, Sounds like something that yeah. might be. That thing. Am I am I bugging? Maybe. No, I, I think you may be right. Um, chat, the chat will correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. I'll look it up. <laughs> Kevin, same uh, Miyota movement inside. Yeah. I actually like the old original Citizen Pro Master. My former I've boss. The, the Pro former Dodge boss had one. one. Yeah, I've had one in the Echo Drive. Never had the automatic movement. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've never owned a, Megan saying I've never owned a Citizen watch. But like, am I missing? You know, I've I've never owned one either. I've had a couple in for review, and I've always been impressed. Yeah, always been impressed I, with them. I had an Eco Drive for years. Yeah, they were, it was fine. I mean, for a yeah, quartz watch, I guess. Bitch to set. It was like no, a, no, it was no. actually a perpetual calendar. It is um, part of the Citizen Group. Yeah. So you so Daniel's saying some Miotas uh 
uh, are good. And, you know, that just reminds me to an earlier conversation that we had in the chat and, and, um, and you were there about, um, I brought up Miotas um, because there's that brand Gorilla um, has a very distinctive um, design and look that, that just really appeals to me. I dig and, it. Yeah. And they have like, you know, several, you know, different types of category level type um, watches in regards to price and they're, they're affordable watches or, or their entry level, I would say, um, have Miota movements in them. And the one that I like in particular, and, and maybe I'll just uh, pull it up real quick, um, is um, 1300. Um, Group watch. <laughs> but, uh, uh, <laughs> the gorilla Colin may draw the line on this one. Um, I like them. I mean, pull it up real quick, real quick. You had one. I had one. I, it, yeah, I still like that watch, but I, I liked other things more. Sort of had a fixed collection size. Let me, uh, but, add but it. that was at a different price point than, than this one. Right, right. Um, I, I might be amenable to a group, uh, how much is this? So let me let me just pull it up, Colin. Let me see. Let me remember. I think it was the espionage, right? Um, so thirteen fifty. I, I like the color. Uh, Almonds. Yours was green too, right? Yeah, green very and, similar and yellow. colors. Yeah. Was it green and yellow? Very yours? similar. Yeah. yeah. Does that come in other colors? Well, they got so, a lot of different colors. They got a lot of different colors, but uh, I'll show you in a sec, Colin. But I just want to go down mm -hmm. and talk about some of the specs. So, so thirteen fifty, right? Um, and you get this, it has a Miyota 90 um, S5. Um, I'm not sure if they do any work on it, any regulating, any any modification. Um, you get a case back, whatever. I mean, it's, it's I don't think it's anything. I, I would almost rather at this point have just like a, a solid case back. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a Miyota and it's 1350. It's got some cool materials. It's got a great look to it. It's huge. But that's okay, because um, that's that's this part of the watch. It's the styling. I, I dig it, and 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 so the part of me that that was holding me back was like, oh, do I want to spend this much for something that has a Miota? And and I think how silly that is to think that, um, because you know I think this look to me and everything that they everything they did to get here, and whatever materials they use to me, that's worth it. Um, they did a lot of stuff to get there. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I I think also Miotas are That's are busy. are higher rated than Seiko movements in in most objective ways. They're they're um, thinner. They they are more yeah. precise. They regulate better. Yeah, um, or that's at least my impression. And I think they're uh, have a reputation for being very uh, reliable and. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, very uh, rugged. Yeah. Uh, low maintenance. Did you find that um, with your watch, Amon, that it was, you know, solid and didn't have to... I, I had no issues, but I didn't own it that long. long and, right. I, and I'm not sure if it if it had a Miyota. I think it might have been at a... No, yours, yours didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, yours... Oh, the watch I... quality was great. Yeah. yeah the, it's, it, the, the, the construction is probably similar, you know, carbon fiber, mm -hmm. ceramic, titanium kind of sandwich of these different materials. Um, very comfortable, very distinctive looking. I, I think they're really cool. Yeah. Now th this one goes even, uh, to a lower price point at 880. Yeah. I kinda um, better, like these. That's better looking to me than the yeah, other one. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like these ones. The black and the stinger yellow. Um, yeah, I was going to say like, the yellow looks looks good. Yeah. What are these called? Stinger. Stinger. Go Gorilla is the brand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Galaxy blue stinger yellow right here. Yeah, I dig that. It's kind of got a, the G Shock appeal, but it's. Uh, yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Maybe that's why I'm attracted to it too. <clears throat> I mean, look, I've spent over eight hundred dollars on a G Shock. Like, you know, that really there should be nothing stopping me from from getting one of these. Like, I can't use I I, sh I can't use the movement as an excuse. That's what I'm trying to get at, and I think I need to get yeah. past that. 
Yeah, the movement's a good movement. I think you you should you should change how you think about Miyota. It's a good movement. Yeah, no, I I, I don't I, I don't look at Miyota unfavorably. Mm. Um, I think. You know, at what point is it like? You know, do I spend five thousand dollars on a watch that has a Miyota in it? Yeah. But you know it, what I mean. But would you spend if it's uh, if it said like uh, something a little better than a six R thirty five, and it's fourteen hundred dollar watch? It, 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 would you would you would you would that seem right to you? Because maybe that's what it is. Is a little better than a six R thirty five? Yeah, thirteen hundred dollar watch. Uh, probably not. Okay. Um, but but I see where you're getting at, and and yeah. and I think I think it's it's I, I I think what you're saying your argument's valid. Yeah. I mean, especially with all I mean, they're not they're obviously spending a lot of money on the case, right? Yeah. On the on the right exactly, and I think that's yeah. where where the value f- for me the, the case the overall design concept um is is there's some currency there for for me like it works for me that way you know. Um, that's how, what you're describing is how I felt about the Sartori Billard and mm-hmm. having like a STP fossil movement in there. Yeah. Right. Cause it's the movements probably like a 10th of the cost of the watch. Uh, I'm making up numbers, but it's probably something like that. Uh, if that, mm-hmm. and it, it, it is a little bit, uh, troubling to think of that when you're looking to pull the trigger, but you can get, get past it. Yeah. ID guy actually crazy wearing a Miyota now over the last week and it's so flipping accurate. So I heard Mark from Long Island Watch say that Miyota, uh, the nine, I forget the nine, whichever one it is, the nine mm-hmm. series. Yeah. Is comparable to a ETA 2824. Mm. And he said some watchmakers actually prefer it. Now, I don't know if that was uh, a sales you know, pitch or if it, he seemed to, I, I believe he's sincere. I don't believe he's uh, known yeah. for just spewing things, but mm. so if that's the case, if it's, if it's comparable to a 28, 24, I, I think that's a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, I'm not um, as versed with movements, you know, like uh, well, what's going on in the chat. Chat's Damn it. Me laugh. Someone oh, yeah. Colin, Colin, Colin's checked out. He, <laughs> he, he zoned out at the, at the first gorilla and the second gorilla kind of spin him over the edge. Colin's here. The uh, word like Miota just, just sucked into Colin. He, he's wanting to go back to Beaver Tail. <laughs> Colin's like trying to hit eject. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so funny. Uh, Gorilla watches Miyota movements. Long Island watches. Collins just took a handful of pills. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now let's man. get onto the Unimatic. Let's look at the Unimatic. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. Resurrect oh, this crap. So it's, what's the deal, what's the deal with the Unimatic? So like I, I've never heard of this brand before. Is it, is this like a Hodinky brand? I mean, I know they're selling their, their watches. Like, has, is Unimatic? Have they been around? Like. Uh, They've been around at least a few years, maybe okay. longer, but I mean, they, they're definitely not new. I've seen Hodinkee have nice posts about them more than right. once. The, the, the one in the middle looks more like the traditional ones that I've seen from that company. And I've uh, always just thought sub homage when I see, when I see that, I mean, I yeah. know it doesn't have everything like a sub, but that's always what I think of as like a sterile sub kind of thing going on so yeah very sterile you're right about yeah. that it's a very very sterile watch uh this looks like a it was just a gmt this one this one sold out pretty quickly right Tra- chaz i mean uh weren't yeah so many, that one yeah. went went first i think yeah are you and serious yes. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I've never yeah. seen him do a California dial. I think that's the oh most God. interesting one of the of the three, because it's uh, it's a little less uh, homage. Let's uh, bear with me here, real quick. Um, that I might be like, my least favorite brand I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Those are so boring. I, I'm like Amon. Um, I do like that California dial. I think it's the most interesting. Of of these three, and it's it's the smallest, I think. 
Uh -huh. As far as dimensions. Um, I'll, I'll pull up in a second. I apologize right if anyone likes these, but. Are they all sold out now? Not for me. Yeah, I think uh, they all well, sold this, out. Well, this one is, yeah, notifying me to join the list. Uh, so that's. What? Okay. <laughs> No, like seriously, help me out with this. Like, what oh, is dude, the it's deal a, here? It's a Hodinky special edition yeah. for six seventy five. They could right. put up, you know, like yeah, uh, I you guess, know, yeah, okay. anything, yeah, anything would sell. Jeez, they could put up a Long uh, Long Island Gorilla watch <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, with a Miyota with a Miyota <laughs> in it. And, <laughs> Um, to me, that yeah. looks like a Zenith case with a, with a, what's the, what's the other Hodinky they did with the California dial, the, the system 51, mm. like that's a mix of those two. Like that case has been done by, by everybody. It's Zenith didn't, I don't think Zenith made that, that style. No, I mean, everybody's done everything. Yeah. Like they all copy each other, but it's just, I don't know. I kind of like that case style, that generic 70s mm -hmm. blocky case. So they use a Salita in this one, at least. Okay. Um, man, would they, would this, would Unimanix sell a watch if it wasn't for a dinky? I mean, I, I, they probably would, <laughs> right? But maybe, a lot of maybe people, at under 500. Uh, even yeah. Paul, even Paul is passing on this gray watch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing Hodinkee does, and I'm not saying this about Unimatic, but they get, they seem to get a lot of brands to remove the date function from in their special edition, which is, mm -hmm. which is smart because the, the particular audience that Hodinkee, you know, the directs to often complains about, oh, it's ruined by the date or the dial's great, except for the I know. date. I and, love the date. Uh, yeah. So when you buy a watch, I've never bought a watch through Hodinkee. When you buy a watch from Hodinkee, who who's servicing it? Who, who the warranty? Who holds the warranty? They're they're just the AD. They're it's just the, the AD. Okay. Yeah. So they send it. Okay. AD. It's it's, All right. it's so, however the brand. I mean, I don't know if they also do service if they're licensed to do that, but but they're working as the AD for for all these brands. <sighs> Okay. Mm. So a lot well, of strong opinions. Meg, Megan's saying Unimatic has a cult following and uh, they mm. are loved. Okay. Yeah. So is Kev Green's company. So whatever. The Kate Grunin's son or whatever. They have a cult following too. Hodinky definitely. Spe I've seen them multiple times pushing Unimatic or speaking highly of them. So, and they, they, they have a lot of influence. They're cool looking, but they're derivative looking. They're. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Colin, um, we were talking coffee earlier. <laughs> oh, you're bringing me back. All right. Yeah, that, yeah. I figured I'd bring you up with a cup of Joe <laughs> to wake up. <laughs> Chaz with a nice attaboy, Chaz. ID uh, guy says the uh, Dinky Maddox are a bit too generic looking. Maybe a bit too safe. Dinky Maddox. Good call, ID guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm with ID guy. Yeah. So, so I um, so I just want to let the chat know I made the mistake of asking Colin where I can get uh, beans <laughs> for coffee, yeah. and uh, he uh, went. Probably, yeah, probably gave me way too much more information. Dude, uh, I took I it did. easy on you, honestly. If you are, if you ever have gone on an audiophile forum and seen people going at mm. it about what kind of wires to use to connect <laughs> the speakers, that's what Colin did with the, with the coffee <laughs> advice. <laughs> yeah, like I, I was just, holding back, was I was holding back water actually. alkalinity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just want a a cup slightly better than the cup I make now. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't. And uh, it was. Colin's it, it, got it, his own bean guy. Yeah, I, he. I, he, I, I am the bean guy. He is, he is, he is the bean guy. guy. <laughs> can I? Can I quote something you said in there, or paraphrase something you said? Am I? Is that all right? If I. If I sure. Go ahead. All right. Yeah. All right. Tell me if I'm wrong about this. But you said <laughs> uh, a lot of people think that any 
bean grinder under a thousand dollars is trash, but you you could probably actually get a decent one for under five hundred bucks. Is that is that, is that, is that, is that <laughs> yeah, like a good a good entry level uh, bean like grinder. Ser- serious bean grinder is about five hundred dollars, and yeah. most most mind. of the that most of the audio like, fields. <sighs> Like most yeah. of the coffee geeks would, geeks would be like, "That's trash. You're never going to be able to make a good cup of coffee with that five hundred dollar <laughs> grinder. Get a get a real grinder." So but grinding I, grinding the beans at the grocery store is just like it's just like you're a total savage. Like you might as yeah, well just just, just forget stick it. Stick to like, the freeze dried instant coffee if you're gonna if you're gonna grind. Well, I mean, first of all, store. if you go to the grocery <laughs> store, you're buying stale coffee right off the bat. Then you're grinding it there, which makes it go stale, even more stale faster. And it's being mixed with everyone else's coffee, like grinds that are left. And those grinders are probably you're, horrible you're, quality. You're mixed with the pores. Yeah, uh, the, the, the animale. Yeah. The animale. Yeah. Uh, no, I have like this one little the thing where you press a button and it goes, and it just like it grinds. Is it like it. a blinder, like a blender? Yeah, just like blade. You know, That's yeah. so, trash. Colin dude. is yeah. so disgusted. That's total trash. You have no qual- You have no control over the size of the grinds. Chad, Chad is checking uh, you up, Colin. Chad, the, uh, you, are, you, are you on board with uh, with what Colin is uh, saying, or is he? Or um, we've got a a coffee shop here. You know, yeah. I want to splurge. I I just I don't roll my own. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, but I respect those who do. I really do. <laughs> um, it's all about caffeine for me. I, I've, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've, you know, I do appreciate a good cup of coffee, but you know, I don't have a bean guy. No, I, I guess it's like, um, like cigars. I never really understood the attraction to cigars and maybe it's because I've never had a good cigar, right? Maybe I've never really had a good cup of coffee. I think I've had a good cup of coffee. Um, you probably but- have, I mean, I imagine you've had a good cup. Like when you go yeah. to a coffee uh shop don't like a small yeah. one sometimes, yeah. sometimes they roast it right what you, there or... sometimes it's better than what you make at home right like you can tell that sometimes difference. sometimes i mean like sometimes like i i just get the right um water to coffee uh, bean ratio and and i'm like oh that's a <laughs> damn good cup of coffee right there you know <laughs> but like i i, I guess there's I'm, some I'm, truth to that there I guess is some it, truth to that. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's Bush. I'm Bush League. You know what I mean? Like, I guess I, yeah. I don't. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. I'm like, oh, let me eat this. And then sometimes I eat a piece of chocolate and then drink a cup of coffee. I'm like, whoa, that really it made the flavor taste really great. That's fine. <laughs> that's allowed. I, we have an espresso machine, too. I enjoy sometimes when I don't feel like grinding my own beans. Mm-hmm. You guys um, are going to make me order better. Oh, coffee. you're talking about just like a pod? Espresso yeah, the Nespresso, and I, and yeah. and I think that's a you know I, I mean, got a taste, in there. And that would good. taste better than your crappily grinded beans, I imagine. Yeah, is it because so like I have a juicer, right? And you know you have those juicers that have the spinning the blade thing, and then it's supposedly yeah. it like you don't grind them in the juicer, do you? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm trying. I'm trying to make like a connection uh, yeah. or an, an analogy. Yeah. Uh, you have the blender. What did you pay for the juicer? <laughs> that, just get that out of the, way. the juice, the, the, the one juice that I bought, uh, it was probably like $180, $190. Oh, man, it has that's a, trash. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a masticator, right? It's a masticator. It doesn't, yes. uh, it well, doesn't, it doesn't care. Show, Rob. It doesn't <laughs> care. It just, it just destroys. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't like, it doesn't, no, no, but I, I've had the one that has the blades, like my bean that just destroys everything. Enters yeah. uh, oxygen to it, and 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 all the good stuff dies a little bit mm-hmm. quicker. The other one, the the proper one I have is like a masticator that slowly like squeezes it out, like grinds it out, and you get the pulp out. And that oh. supposedly is better because um, it's almost <laughs> as good as cold press. <laughs> Man, we are losing. I mean, we're getting. We, there's 80 people here, so we might be so Is it an Invicta juicer? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, and just get a conical burr grinder. You can get them for uh, under a hundred dollars, even like just even like just make sure it has a burr grinder, so you can actually somewhat control the size of the grind and get consistent sizes. If you're just using a blade to chop them up, you're gonna have powder mixed with a medium size mixed with a big size, 
and you're going to have just uneven extraction across the board. You're going to get sediment in the cup. You're going to get, it's just going to be bad. What oh, is man. the uh, grocery store grinder for the pores uh, use? Burr or blades? I don't know. I walk right know. by them just like. <laughs> You've never uh, soiled yourself with that. Uh, I, go like, I go like this and I walk by. You walk by like the, like the peasants uh, yeah. begging for, okay. Yeah. It's, no, just like I told you, yeah. the grinder is, first of all, fresh beans are very important, but the grinder is actually like the most important part of making coffee. Mm. The grinder. Like you could, yeah, like you can make a good cup of coffee with nothing but a French press, which is like $30, but if you, you need a good grinder to do it. Mm-hmm. Right. So would you, Jack, uh, would no. you or would you consider ordering um, Bark and Jack no. coffee? Nope. Are there any? It might, ch- it might be fresh. I don't know. Who knows? Are there any big chains that make good coffee? Yeah, I mean, well, like, like big coffee, like big coffee shops, like Starbucks. Chains any, any, yeah. It's something like Starbucks level. Starbucks, Starbucks level. Is, step, <laughs> is it a step down for you, Colin? If you go to Starbucks. Yeah. Are you yeah. going this? I can do better than this at home. I can do way better in Starbucks. Yeah. Thank you, Thomas. Is Starbucks terrible? Is it? Is it? Or is it? Uh, um. What's, I what, wouldn't say it's terrible, but it's a not. Watch, like is there a watch equivalent of uh of Starbucks coffee? Ooh, that's a loaded question. <laughs> watch equivalent of Starbucks. I rescind that uh, question. I don't want to make our. Uh, I'll think about it. I, I don't want to make it. our show too too snobby. African, Raymond, maybe. <laughs> African, Asian, <laughs> South Africa. Where do you where do you like East, your East African? I've had that uh, ID guy. East Africa has some great mm-hmm. coffee. Mm. I get okay. beans from all over. Uh, I don't discriminate. I'll I'll get beans from all over the world. They all have different taste profiles. Um, do you mix flavor profiles? Yep. I have, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's actually very popular. People will blend mm. certain ones to bring out different flavors. I, mm. I really like, you know, Guatemalan. I like Ethiopian. Um, you have to do that. They get searched at customs when you bring in beans. Nope. nope. So you can get those straight through. Orange hand knows. Place. Jamaican Blue Mountain is very good. Very, very good. It's expensive, but it's good. So, Colin, what's the most expensive coffee Co- bean you've ever? Kopi Luwak, probably. Is that the one they Luwak? That they it's the one they poop out. Like the African oh, dung the monkey beetle, poop. Is that what it is? Yeah, the civet. The civets eat the berries and then they poop them out. I don't what? actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's about a, thing, a, it's man. about one hundred and fifty dollars a pound. What for what, for what, these beans? What if them? not more? What eats it's them? it's a it's called a civet. It's like a it's like a, it's a, a primate? small animal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of. It's like uh, what's you're buying coffee beans like a, like a that somebody lemur? has pooped out. Kind of like a lemur yeah. has pooped out, and you're talking shit to me about grinding my beans with somebody <laughs> else's beans in a grocery store, and you're eating pooped out. You're eating pooped out beans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat them. No, they they eat the berries. <laughs> They eat the berries, okay, and then they digest them, and then they okay. poop them out, and then they make some people sift through the poop, and they take the beans. But basically, it's like natural How do selection. Turn into beans. Coffee's coffee beans are berries. Yeah, they so come out of berries. The beans are the seeds of the berry. Basically. Oh, dude, yeah. that is so gross. Like, it is kind of gross. Yeah. Like, who was the first person that was like, I, you know, I got this great idea. <laughs> Let's sift through <laughs> that cat poop. And yeah. make the best cup of coffee we could ever make. Like who? Like you so, know? Like, it was so a guy they don't, desperate for caffeine. Desperate. They don't know. They don't know if it's because of the acids in their stomach, or if it's because they just. It's like natural selection where they pick the very best ones to eat. So they kind of pick the best ones, <laughs> and then you know you get the best stuff. No, no, that. I get but that. But it's I'm actually pretty of- sad. I don't buy it anymore. They actually have like farms now where they force feed them and it's actually wow. quite horrible. There's all sorts of horrible stuff that has to do with it. I actually recommend that most people don't buy it because of that. The people who um, harvest them are probably also depressed and, and have a high yeah, self-harm yeah. rate. Yeah. But like, but like, I, I get, I, I get why the animal. I bet they wear Seikos. <laughs> <laughs> 
right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> you guys ever heard of that? Kopi Luwak coffee? No, no, no I, 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 I actually was having a conversation with somebody it. yesterday about, <sighs> about that. Yeah. 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 I didn't know this conversation was going to get there. Uh, I was hoping that it, it wouldn't, <laughs> but it did. Well, you um, you asked the question, didn't you, or was it? No, no, I asked about coffee. Oh, I didn't ask what's, about. No, Chaz asked, "What's the most expensive, expensive beans?" Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the most expensive I've had. Uh, other than beans. that, like Jamaican Blue Mountain is probably the blue the next, or some Marley Kona coffee is some Kona coffee is very expensive too. Did Bob Marley poop those out? Do the animals get caffeinated in the process? Does some of it get absorbed? I don't know. You know I don't think so. Oh. They're that's, like cleaned, though. That's just the worst thing ever. Are they? Really? <laughs> Are they, they, they clean? <laughs> I mean, it's hard. You ever, you ever try to get like cat pee to smell out of your, you know, it's just, it doesn't, it takes mm. forever. You ever had shrooms? <laughs> Yes, but, uh, you know. Shrooms. Honestly, I was just thinking of that when yeah. you before you said Bad it. Shrooms. Yeah. Bad shrooms. Okay. I think that's um. Touche. That's that's Touché. a little different. That's a little different because you you need poop to get shrooms. You don't need <laughs> poop to get coffee beans. So I think that's, that's very, very and, and that's an equally strong point by um, it. <laughs> that is absolutely true. So it's my not, first stream, and we talk about poop. Coffee beans, so <laughs> you'll never have me back. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, it, thanks a we lot. Need you, we need you back. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, uh, you guys have definitely said it all and said way too much. Um, but uh, but uh, great we conversation. Have a coffee stream. We should talk about coffee. Yeah, awesome. Chaz, thank you, thank you so much uh, uh, for for coming on. Um, yeah, so, I need one of those. So. <laughs> So it, I'm waiting on my gift pack. Don't you have one for every new like, guest on your show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we, yeah the, the green room will give you refreshments yeah. and we'll feed you. And then when you go home, we send you away with a nice little like, gift Hey, pack. thanks for getting the, the bottle of water at rim tent for me. That was <laughs> perfect. Anytime. <laughs> for a star like you, Chaz, anything. You got it. Um, Colin. Yeah. Anything going on this weekend? Are, are, uh, look, I'm not. I don't mean to ball, bust balls. Is the is the playoff still going hockey, or is it over? No, I, I really don't know. It's all um, over, yeah. Yeah. except for the crying. It's yeah, yeah. I, I was rooting for you, Colin. Yeah, it was a little, a uh, little too much for us to pull off. So yeah, it's always next year. Good year though. Yep. <laughs> Wilson, I'm glad I stayed for the coffee. <laughs> is hockey pretty steady from year to year? Like uh, most of the good players you have, you'll still have next year and still still be in this thing? There's some variability, but more than, say, basketball, I would say. There's mm. more variability, but, mm. uh, there, you know, you usually lose one or two guys, but then mm. replace them with yeah. one or two others. So, Is there a salary cap? Yeah. And it's flat because of the pandemic. So mm -hmm. a lot of teams are in trouble. They're going to have to ditch some uh, good players. So there might be a lot of movement this this offseason. Mm. Chaz, anything uh, going on this weekend for you? Any, uh, just chilling this I, weekend? Yeah, I was, I was saying to you earlier, I'm yeah. so glad to have a Saturday without a list of things, places to be. And, uh, you know, last weekend was great, but it was a lot of activity. So Sure. Sure. I'm at that point in life when a boring Saturday is a, the best, you know, <laughs> you don't have any, you just kind of nothing yeah. really you have to do. And then if you want to wander around, you can. So. I, I, I look forward to the day when um, my fall Saturday mornings are uh, just me preparing for college football or something like yeah. that. You know what with I mean? A, with a good cup of Joe. <laughs> with a good <laughs> poop free, yeah. uh, you know, latte. <laughs> Yeah, I missed the guys in the chat tonight. So you guys keeping it real? Yeah. Um, Amen. What's going on, man? Anyway. My uh, one of my kids really likes Marvel movies, and he just texted ah. me that uh, Black Widow was just released on Disney Plus. Um, if you yeah. with, with oh, a really? paywall uh, about like five minutes ago, ten minutes yeah. ago. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, I I might get roped into watching that tonight. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, 
tomorrow some some kayaking maybe Whoa. pretty pretty chill maybe a little fishing wow oh, so yeah. outdoorsy yeah it's my it's my other kid philip is a big uh fishing guy and mm, yeah. uh he he got a kayak and uh for two tandem so we're 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 on like a, on a waiting list to get a, a, a kayak that's how crazy it is you can't Seriously? get a kayak anywhere around here it yeah took forever it yeah. took forever we ordered one from this brooklyn kayak company um and uh took months wow. yeah yeah anything outdoor rec recreational is uh high demand high demand yep. supply chain is slowed and roof did. racks were sold out everywhere so i had oh, to get yeah. this bootleg uh uh you know uh yeah it's a temporary right. roof rack yeah uh, it's it's, ama- it's it's interesting you said that i <clears throat> we got i mean the only place i could get a roof rack was through the dealership toyota so actually mm-hmm. this tuesday i'm going in there and they're gonna do it it probably i'm getting charged an arm and a leg probably but you know we need to do it just in case we get a kayak this year <laughs> you know what i mean so anyway there's, there's there's a couple of lakes around me where where we can you can rent one so nice. um so that's what we're gonna I don't know. This weekend, we'll probably do something like that. But anyway, guys, thank you for coming on. Chaz, again, thank you for, for coming on. I really, really appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, Rob. Chaz, always, thanks. Always for, enjoy your show. No, and always enjoy. I uh, love talking uh, watches uh, with you, and you're a great supporter of my <coughs> channel. You send mm-hmm. watches in for me for a review, and I, I really, really appreciate that. Uh, it's awesome. And uh, and guys in the chat and gals, thank you for, for showing up tonight. See you on um, Sunday for uh, uh, an episode of Watch Soup. Watch Chris is going to be joining uh, Sanjay and I. So looking forward to that. And we'll cool. see you guys. Uh, what, you know, want me to come back? Yeah. <laughs> you can come back next Friday. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm at Sunday. You know, want me on there Sunday too? <laughs> you, Sunday. you have an All open right. invitation. You and Wolfgang can come anytime. I've got the I link now, man. I'm- I would love to have a stream <laughs> with you and Wolfgang in the same stream. That would be awesome. Be great. Yeah. Love you guys. All right, guys. Love you too. Take care, everybody. See you guys.